Welcome everybody, this is John. I'm back with another adventure. I am at Calico, a ghost town here in California that's been kind of turned into an attraction. It's an old mining town. It's a really cool place. You guys want to check this out next part. So follow us. A lot of shops and cool stuff down through here. See the upstairs is missing there. There's the old Calico Woodworks. And over here is the Calico House Restaurant. Right here there's some good eats. The old Wild West Town of Calico. That guy right there. Wagon. Relics sitting out here on display from the mining days. Check out that old, that old engine. There's the old town hall. Check this out. Here's the fire hall. Look what they got inside here. A restored 19th century fire truck. That is amazing. There's some old fire tools over there. So it have been pulled. This is a horse drawn fire truck. And they would have filled that large tank with water. And there's another tank over there. It's amazing. Mount Silver here. And here's, if you want to pause this and, and read, yeah, because Walter Nod of Knott's Berry Farm actually is who is behind. There's a museum over there. Look here, guys. Let's check out the town hall. Looks like there's some stuff to see inside. Hey! Oh, wow. Got the... Uh, it's a 1910 piano. Photographs. It's a pelt. Look here, here's a, it's a little depiction of the town. This is really cool, guys. Look at the the old bank safe. Check this out. Got the general store right here. Let's check out this uh, museum here first. This looks pretty awesome. All right. Photograph here. This is Lucy Lane's house. And a lot of uh, household items that have been around back in those days. And look at that old heat stove here. And over here is the old cook stove. That is pretty amazing. Right here's some more chests. And I think that's a pie safe right there. Yeah, that's definitely a pie safe. Old hand mixer. There it been. Bedroom. Yeah, I don't pass out of it. Oh, and then let's see what I need. 
structures here, a stagecoach shop, got the candle company here. Here we got some more. I just love all the relics that they've used. They've kept and preserved on display. Check out even the old cash register over there. It's pretty awesome. And then got the what's this over here? This is the bucket brigade. This is where they had to keep water in here for fires to uh, to put out fires and down. Then we got this long wagon here, which is cool. It's got a tree growing up through it. That's awesome. It's a general merchandise store. Get your photos taken here. Some of these buildings are original structures that have kind of been refurbished. Some old school stuff that's been preserved, some stagecoaches back there. The stationary and cards here. It says come inside and see the way it used to be. Oh look. This is an old school barber shop. Yeah, and that one. Uh, the mm. one would seem a little splintery. Your modesty would have to be so. Well, as long as you don't have any. Well, exactly. You're not forty There's some old saddles back here. These are these old barbershop chairs. The spindle there. Looks like a, a small, a tiny grand piano. Wow, look at that photograph. Look at this. Look at this wash tub. It's like... It's a tub, it's a, a tiny little wash tub for this children. There's a wooden bathtub. How cool is that? It really takes you to like the old days. Here. It's a drugstore. You just walk up and this guy would fill your prescription. Right here. Look at some of the old bottles here. And there's where a prisoner would be on display. This is the old jail. I don't know if we can see inside or not. Oh yeah. And you'd be locked up right here. Or in here. It's also where you'd be at. But have you here where people could throw stuff at you. It would seem that I have violated some crimes here. I've been locked up. There's a, another drugstore there and a beer garden. I have to check that out. This little town just keeps going. What we got here, R and D. I see dinosaurs. So that's definitely fossils and minerals. Let's go check this. It's just like being in the, the old Wild West. Such a cool little town. Let's go check that beer garden. Okay, out. so it's 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 just a restaurant. Check this mining car out. This is legit, man. It'd be loaded with silver. Is that what they mined here? And sit down. Let's check out inside of the mining. Okay. There's an old wheelbarrow and shovel. There's a, a lowering bucket. Some some relics that found here in town. There's some remnants of some ladders used in the mining to drop down from mine shaft to mine shaft. There's some silver ore. There's a pickaxe too. There's a picture of some of the miners back in the day. And there's some actual mining equipment. Mining lots and stuff. And here, the old grindstone. You just pedal it down here and grind away. Look, here's some more mineral.
one is silver ore. This is right here. Two is coma that. Three is yules. Is that? This is very crystally looking. Here's a ladder you find in an old mine shaft to go up and down from shaft to shaft. They even have an old school popcorn stand. No. Got some cool stuff here. You can pan for gold over here. There's a bunch of t-shirts in there. Check out this. Stagecoach. This is awesome. Oh, this is not safe. This is a hearse. And it has an old wooden box in it. That's crazy. And here's the town blacksmith shop. If you look in, you can see his anvil right there and all of his blacksmithing tools. There's even his furnace in the back. Here's the pottery shop. And here's a mystery spot. It says there's a mystery spot here. Huh. There's Pappy. Oh. It's a calico chupacabra. That's no relics. Which one's bigger? I think they're both the same size. All the lines are parallel. It's just an optical illusion. They're both the same size. Oh, that's impossible. Some more awesome structures out here. Got some food and drinks over here. It's a really cool place. About to enter into the mystery shack here at Calico. Ooh, a, all right, I have a story before we head inside the house. So you're gonna go down this little hallway here and wait in the courtyard, please. All right. The house behind me was built by one of our miners here at Calico. His name was Harry Dover, and Harry worked at the mines of Calico until he had an accident and he lost one of his legs. So he made himself a fake one out of a piece of wood that he had found, but unfortunately one leg was still shorter than the other. So he built his house on a slant so that when he stands up inside, he could be standing up straight. So Harry's boss heard that he was up and walking again, and he asked him if he was coming back to work. And Harry told him, well, let me make you a deal. I'm gonna take a bucket of water here. I'm gonna pour it into my trough. If water goes uphill, you will never see me again. But if water goes downhill, I guess I'll be at work today. Do you think it went to work today? Is water gonna go uphill? Yes. Yes, I'll win. Let's see it. What? Even the bucket went uphill. <laughs> As you can see, Harry did not go to work today. Does anybody want know why the water went uphill? Because it wouldn't be a mystery shack if it didn't, right? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head inside. Well, it's easy now. <laughs> Ooh, wee. This is weird. We got far slid over this. Look at the legs. <laughs> All right. So since Harry decided he could no longer work, he turned to gambling and making bets. And he would tell his friends, "I bet you it is easier to walk up this hill than it is to walk down." Do you guys want to try? Sure. Yes. yes. Come on. <laughs> we have legs. Oh my gosh. Take it nice and slow. Who <laughs> holds me legs? Yeah, that's cool. I walk up the wall. <laughs> <sighs> Probably you can walk out. Go for it, John. Oh, Go for it. Yeah, that's a good exercise. Uh, so it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, 
This is definitely odd. I don't know about this, man. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> like a contortionist. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah, listen, I got you, man. All right. Oh. So, Michael Jackson, we leave? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I got that. <laughs> I was going to one hole without even trying. Do you guys know which hole it's going to go into? Yep, uh, the top that one up there. Top left? What do you think? This one. Oh, no. Right here? I changed my mind. Top. Yeah. This one? I'll call that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see it. his wife. Her name is Eileen Dover. We're going to head into her room right now. I'll follow you. Eileen Dover. Eileen All right, Dover. we're going to... Eileen Dover. <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture you guys have. Okay. Yeah. Can I get someone to come sit in my chair, please? Preferably an adult first, and I will get you tea, okay? No <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Okay. Here. Help me out. Is it still recording? It's already recording. Uh, All right. All right, just set the chair. Yes, sir. Wee. All right, how is it? Is it comfortable? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. cozy. All right. Welcome to Eileen's room. This is her chair, her favorite chair. She sat here all the time. Eileen sat here so much that she died in this chair. Oh. But don't worry, she's friendly. It's kind of. <laughs> Can you feel the pressure she's sitting in your lap? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, it was her favorite because since her husband had turned to gambling and she lost all of her friends, the ones that she did still have, she wanted to keep. So she'd have them sit down so they could never get up. Because women back then, they wore corsets and skirts. So we're going to get up like a lady today. Go ahead, put your feet together. Mm -hmm. Hands on your knees. Without using your elbows, stand up. <laughs> What's wrong, John? Why can't you stand up? Ali's holding me down. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. Woo oh, God. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's next? All right. That's hard. Who's next? Relax. Relax, one. Sir? Can we do it? Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you just got to stand up? Yep. Yeah, without yeah, using your hands your, or elbows. Yeah, close your legs. Hands underneath. Don't use your elbows and stand. The idea behind the rules are that women had to keep their legs closed, they had to hold their skirts down, and bracing your elbows was considered rude. Mm. Yeah, I'm stuck here. <laughs> Can I get up like a man? Absolutely. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. You guys want to try? My legs are like. Take it slow. Go go she's slow. Slacking as a ghost. But when she would be cleaning in here, her husband could call her any moment. She'd have to put her broom down to go and see what he needed. As she was getting older, she began forgetting where she had left off. So she got this special broom so that when he called her, she could just set it down. Are you going to stay? There we go. What? Walk away, do whatever she needed to do, and the broom would stay exactly where she had left it. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's pretty magical, right guys? Magic. Yeah. Alright, well the magic isn't over yet. Let's go ahead and head out the door. There's a bench, beautiful bench That's right there. Bend over. Funny, <laughs> you can laugh at it. Bend over. <laughs> so Ben went exploring in the hills of Calico one day, where he found a magical faucet. And we know it's magic because when he brought it home to his parents, they turned it on. Water started flowing out of it without it ever being connected to anything. So we're going to take a short trip around the corner and take a look at this magical faucet. Ooh, magical faucet. There he is, the magical faucet. Right, just, <laughs> just hanging out up there, just flowing water out. So the air conditioner it spits back out, it comes out all cloudy like that. Well, that kept happening to our tubes, just ruining the illusion for everybody. So they got rid of the tubes. There are no more tubes. Very good guess. Anybody else? Anybody else know how it works? Nothing? 
That was my guess. Hand over the back of the hose and see if there's actually no thing. <laughs> well, we can't. Yeah, we're not allowed in there. Yeah. My boss has told me so. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to explain exactly how it works to you, though. I'm going to count to three. You guys say, how does it work? And I'll explain everything. You ready? One, two, three. How does it work? It works perfectly well. Thank you so much for asking. And bless you. Thank you. <laughs> just, just sneeze. I, I sneezed. I was trying to hold back. And then, and it just... All right, if you'll turn around, take a look at the mountain. The one that says Calico. There's a hole in the side of that mountain. You guys see it? Yeah. That is the entrance to King Silver Mine, where they pulled out $65,000 worth of silver back in the 1880s. That is about $2.2 million today. A couple of my coworkers are up there exploring one day for big white bags. And they caught them, they brought them back here, they put them in a cage. Recently they had a little baby, so now we have three. You guys want to see the bats? Yes. Yeah, all right. Albino Come on bats. over. Albino bats. Albino bats. Albino bats. Oh, there's a little baby bat right there. Cute. Look at the little one in there. Come from Louisville. They're, uh, they're from the <laughs> Slugger family. And ever since I brought them back to Calico, they've been the greatest hit at the park. But Thank you. I'll be here till five. All right, that is the end of our tour. If you have questions, you are more than welcome to ask, but I can't promise to tell you the truth, so keep that in mind. Any questions? <laughs> Nothing? I like good questions. All right, well, thank you. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And have a great rest of your day. Look at this blessed bottle house. Check out the mine. Comes a wingin' on the evening breeze. Move along, blue shadows. Move along. Oh, you want to know what we dream of? Well, it was silver. Here in Calico, we have silver fever. Silver was discovered here in 1881. And in the 15 years that followed, over $86 million in high-grade ore was taken from the 10 major mines in the area. At one time, there was about 30 miles of tunnels within those Calico Mountains. Check it out. Got some old ore samples here. Check this out. Take a train ride here in a little bit. It's gonna be fun. So here comes the train. It's gonna take us to the original town site. All right, we're fixing to go on the choo-choo ride. Yeah, going on a major choo-choo exploration. Yeah. See some of the original town parts. Here we go. All right, getting ready to take off on a little train. Oh, here we go. Howdy folks, this is Hard Rock Harris, and I'm here with Mrs. Annie Rickard, two miners from Calico's heyday. We would like to welcome you aboard the Calico and Odessa Railroad. Howdy there folks, we all please stay seated as we take a ride together around the back country of Old Calico. As we go around this first curve, notice the miners' cabins built along the canyon walls. As crude as they appear, they were ideal for protecting us from the hot summers and cold winters here at Calico. And further for the independent types, who like to fend for themselves. Of course, many miners stayed in boarding houses, mainly for modern conveniences, like home kitchen. I got my nickname, Hard Rock, because that was exactly the kind of mining we did around here. The rock is so hard, and we didn't have any water to use for mining, so we had to hack and blast away. During the years, Calico's 10 square mile mining district boosted a population of nearly 2,000, with almost 1,000 actually living in the town side of Calico. After the mining ended, Calico really was a ghost town. That's to say, it was made in They had workers actually living here. These folks served the role of security for the town, a tradition that continues to this day.
On this next curve, look to the left of the engine and notice the pile of rocks painted white with a white marker on top. This is an example of what a cornered monument looked like. We use them on all four corners of our claims to alert everyone that they may be trespassing and to remind claim jumpers to stay away. Remember how the first traces of silver were discovered right on the ground in the spring of 1881 when Calico's silver rush was on. The miners came from all over, including local towns such as Virginia City, Bodie, and Tombstone, Arizona. I certainly do, Hard Rock. I had silver fever, too. Coming up on the ride is one of the original ore cars we miners use. We will push the out of the mine and stop all our ore until we have a train load full. Then it will shift to a processing mill on a narrow gauge train similar to the one you're riding on now. The train was called the Waterloo Mine Company Railroad. And the spur was run off that the ride up Calico's Wall Street Canyon. The closer a railroad could be run to the mines, the better. This large area to the left of the train is where some of the miners live. There is still one surviving wall out there. It's outlined in white. Beyond the mountain, to the northeast, was East Calico, where, among others, the big Bismarck mine was. There was a little community out there with a store and a saloon. The Stacy brothers carried mail for a mile and a half between Bismarck and Calico, even training their dog, Rosie, to do it for them. I remember that. He strapped a saddlebag right on his back so he could carry the mail and packages. As we pause here, take a look at the top of King Mountain where your engineer is now pointing. Look at the last letter in Calico and run your eyes down about 300 feet and a little to the right and you should see a mine entrance in the side of the mountain. This is a tunnel to the Silver King Mine, one of the richest and largest mines in the Calico Mining District. It produced about $10 million in silver in about 11 years. There were about 30 miles of tunnels on 14 different levels inside that mountain to several different mines. However, the only mine that is open daily for guests to safely go into themselves is the Maggie Mine. The just as far, they have to walk round and round, which caused the steel ball to drag over a crushed floor before it was taken to a processing mill. Of course, by the 1880s, this left engine, making for a more efficient operation for the company. The mining was now we're going to actually get to go inside uh, the real mine. I don't think okay, so. Welcome to the Maggie Mine, one of the most historic in Southern California. Before your journey into the mine, we'll give your eyes a chance to get accustomed to the dark and we'll give you a mini education on the type of minerals Calico is paying here. You want to get some like footage without me in it? Yeah, that'd be nice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see, we'll walk through here. This is actually a legit mine tunnel. Is deemed safe enough for passage. Now here's where you'd go up to other shafts. And that's a shaft coming from the top where they would lift ore out. Check this out. There we have a friendly miner. He's got his drill. He's going that way. I want to walk this way. Yeah. This is a really cool old mine. I really thought. $65,000 glory hole. That's expensive. I've lost Jacob. Look at that. I went up the outside. There's some miners just chilling out, sleeping here in the mine. There's 
gentlemen back here hacking away at the ore. It is rumored that this mine is haunted. Hello? See, back in the day, they'd had ladders going up here. We gotta go up that. Because it's good for camera. <laughs> There's an old miner's house. Check out that really cool church here in town. It sits perfectly up on the hill. Overlooking Calico. So I said this was a church, but it is the schoolhouse. You got the old stove in the middle. It's pretty awesome. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for this adventure. Calico Ghost Town, a very, very unique and really cool place to visit. It's the first, like, ghost town that I've got to go to that's, like, kind of safe. Um, we got to check out the mine and the train ride. It was all really, really a neat experience. Highly advise if you're ever in this area, definitely come check it out for yourself. Um, if you want to help support this channel, I sell awesome shirts like this, but this one's limited edition, so you better get it while the road trip's going, or else they won't be here anymore. And if you want to, all right, guys, that is going to do it for today's adventure. Calico Ghost Town, a really unique and interesting place. It's a really neat experience to be able to explore and go through an old ghost town without worrying about falling through floors and, you know, getting caught and in trouble and all that stuff. But um, very cool experience. Um, if you're ever in this area, definitely check it out. And if you want to help support this channel, I sell awesome t-shirts like this right here. But this one's limited edition. I have others that will be here forever. This one is limited edition. I'll be here for a little just for a little while. Also, I have a Patreon where I send you cool stuff, guys. All the links are in the description down below. Till next time, guys, y'all have a wonderful day.